Hi folks, this is Calc 3 Checkpoint Quiz 1. We're asked to find the domain of a vector valued function, R of t. So we need to look at the domain of each individual component, and then we need to take the intersection or overlap to find the domain of the entire function. So let's start off by looking at just the x component. I've got a t squared plus 3t minus 4 all underneath the square root. So in order to keep this guy happy, I have to take the t squared plus 3t minus 4 and make sure it's greater than or equal to 0. So uh, this is a nonlinear inequality. So remember back to algebra. What we do is we take a, uh, we find the critical values, the values where the expression is equal to 0 or where the expression doesn't exist. In this case, we'll just set it equal to 0. It factors nicely for us. And so we get t equals negative 4 and t equals 1. So that's where it's actually equal to 0. And we take those critical values now and we display them prominently on the real number line. So we'll put negative 4 here and 1 here. And then what we do is we take test values. So we take our favorite number less than negative 4, say negative 5. Number between negative 4 and 1, say 0. A number bigger than 1, say 2. Take the negative 5 and substitute it back in to this equation, or to this expression rather, and we get a 25 minus 15 minus 4, and so that's going to give us a positive number. We take the 0 and substitute it back into the expression, we get a negative 4, so that's a negative number, and we take the 2 substitute in there, we get 4 plus 6 minus 4, that gives us a positive number. And so if you remember back to Calc 1, the intermediate value theorem guarantees that no matter what test numbers we pick in these intervals, we're always going to get the same sign pattern, uh, positive, negative, positive. So now we return to the problem at hand. I want to know where this expression is greater than or equal to 0. It's equal to 0 at the critical values. It's greater than 0 where I have positives. So for my final answer, it's everything from negative infinity up to and including the negative 4. Union, everything from 1 to infinity, including the 1. So those are the values of t that are going to make the first component happy. Now we direct our attention to the second quantity. 1 over e to the t minus 3. So we have a denominator and the only thing that could possibly go wrong for us is if the denominator were equal to 0. So remember the technique from algebra is we set the denominator equal to 0, find out who the bad guy is and throw it out. Uh, we have an exponential equation, we isolate the exponential, add 3 to both sides, and then we're going to use the natural log. The natural log is log base e, so these are inverse functions, they undo each other, so I'm just left with t equals natural log of 3. This is the only real number which is going to make the denominator 0. So the values of t that are going to make this component happy is everything except natural log of 3. In other words, negative infinity to natural log of 3, union, natural log of 3, on off to infinity. Last but not least, we have this quantity, this component, the z component. We have the natural log of 117 minus t. And we have a natural log. In order to keep the natural log happy and keep it a real number, I need to take that 117 minus t and make sure that's greater than 0. Since this is a linear inequality, we can just isolate the t as we would in a linear equation. I can add t to both sides, get 117 is bigger than t, or rewrite that t is less than 117. And so the values of t that will keep the z component happy, everything up to, but not including, 117. So now for our final answer. We look at the domain of each of these components, and we have to take their intersection or overlap. So in number one, 
It was everything from negative infinity up to and including negative 4, along with everything from 1 up to infinity, including the 1. The second example, we have negative infinity up to negative 3, or natural log of 3, rather, union the natural log of 3 to infinity. And finally, in the third component, we have everything up to, but not including, 117. So, uh, we need to do a comparison here. Where exactly is the natural log of 3 in comparison to all these numbers? Well, certainly the natural log of 3 is going to be less than 117. How does it compare to the 1? We'll go over here and, and do some sketch work here. We know that e itself is less than 3. And since the natural log is an increasing function, it preserves the inequality. And so I get 1, then, is less than the natural log of 3. So if I go on my number line and try to, to sort all this out on the number line, I've got negative 4, 1, the natural log of 3, and 117. Now this is obviously not the scale, but it doesn't matter. We're just trying to figure out uh, the overlap of all these things. Okay, so the first set I have here is everything from negative 4 on down, including the negative 4, and then everything from 1 on up, including the 1. So that's what that interval looks like. Now for the second part, it's everything up to natural log of 3, but I skip over the natural log of 3 itself and then everything from that on out. So that's what this looks like. And finally, everything less than 117. So what values of t are going to make all three parts happy? Well, those are going to be the values of t that are represented in uh, all three of these sets. So everything from negative infinity up to negative 4 is in all three of these sets. So I'm going to have that, negative infinity to negative 4, including the negative 4. Then I have to skip up to 1. And then from 1 to the natural log of 3, I have all three domains represented here. So I'm going to go from 1, including 1, to the natural log of 3, and parentheses, because I have to skip over the natural log of 3. And then I have all three domains represented up to, but not including, 117. So we'll use parentheses there. And so that's the domain of our vector valued function, is that, as promised, no calculus at all, just a healthy amount of algebra. So that'll do it then for number one.